Sony's Future of Gaming event was held on Thursday, and with it came a showcase of all the games anticipated for release on the PlayStation 5. Other than almost 30 titles announced, the main reason people tuned into the event was to see the big reveal of the PS5 console. Well, here it is. Let's break it down. But before we get to that, make sure to hit that like button because liking these videos lets me know that you love them. Let's get to it. All right, let's talk about the design. Overall, I like the design of the PS5. It's very different than the Xbox Series X, but kind of goes back to the boldness of the PlayStation 3 with that new V shape. I like how they put into the design of the PlayStation 5 the V, which is the Roman numeral for 5, which represents the fifth generation of the console. I like on the console, you can see that there's accent line that kind of further highlights the V shaped tips. You can also see that the design had some type of usefulness when they decided to use the V shape because it also helps with the ventilation of the system. In a video that I posted previously about some internet concepts of the PS5, I discussed how some of those concepts have a theme going on. Of a main console having an outer protective shell. And it seems like this design, especially when it's laid horizontally, has that same kind of concept, especially with the new V-shape. It looks like the white V-pieces actually protect the core middle black piece of the hardware. I will say that of all the concepts that I went over in that video, the one that came closest to what the actual release looked like was the one from Snore from Let's Go Digital. It wasn't exactly what PlayStation came out with, but the overall shape does remind me, like I said in the video, of a Steam PC and the overall kind of downward swoop motion that this one has very is very similar to what Snore has in that video. Let's talk about the disk drive. At first I was on board with the disk drive, but after having some time to look at the console, uh, I think it looks kind of odd. Almost like an afterthought. It seems like the disk drive should have been placed more in the core black piece of the console. I don't know why they decided to place the disk drive kind of like off to the side at the bottom. I'm sure they had some type of reasoning for it. They're not going to let us know that, but my thought would, was probably that they wanted to make room for other pieces of the hardware. You can see in a comparison with the disk version versus the digital version, which does not have a disk drive, that it looks a lot sleeker. And when looking at it in that aspect, the disk drive looks like a tumor. Not a tumor. It's not a tumor at all. I will say that if I do get a PS5, I will be getting a disc version of the console. Despite its looks, I do have my reasons, which you can watch in this video right up here. All right, let's talk about the size of the console. The size has been talked about already all over the internet compared to previous consoles of the PlayStation and even the new Xbox. From the picture, you can see that it's the largest PlayStation yet. Maybe it has to do with all that next-gen hardware that's packed into it. Now, in a comparison with the Xbox, you can see that this PlayStation is going to tower over that console. Bigger ain't always better, but we'll have to wait and see when the actual consoles come out. I know for me, while it may deter some, it ain't no biggie for me. The bigger, the better, I guess. Alongside the console, Sony did reveal other accessories that are going to complement the PlayStation when it's released. There's a new Pulse 3D wireless headset, an HD camera, and a media remote. I was kind of surprised that Sony decided to release a media remote, considering how things can actually work with your phone. I kind of hope that maybe in the future, if they don't already have it, that you can actually just use the PlayStation app with the Wi-Fi connection to just use that to control your PlayStation for media controls. There wasn't much details given about the new HD camera. Is it the new PSVR, or is it just a camera used for streamers? No one knows just yet, but maybe as we get closer to the release, they'll let us know more details. And I have a perfectly fine headset that I currently use, but this new Pulse 3D headset looks sleek, and uh, yeah, if I get the console, maybe I just might get a new headset. I'll have to wait and see. So a render for a special edition of Spider-Man Miles Morales PS5 was tweeted by Boss Logic, and I loved it. I would totally buy that over the main PS5. And I think that Sony should have a lot of these available at launch. That would definitely give them an edge over the Xbox. I could see the Spider-Man console. I could see a Ratchet and Clank console. I could even see a GTA 5 console. I mean, all these consoles, if they're theme and skin, they could all work and they could offer customers options that speak to them as gamers. Back when the DualSense controller was announced, renders also came out of themed controllers, and I said the same thing back then. Don't wait months and months after games come out, release after release, just go ahead and let the consoles and controllers come out now. Go ahead and do all your other IPs, just let customers pick what they want, and not the options that speak to them as gamers. And I'm telling you that if you do this over the Xbox, that's just one more reason why people will come to this console. So fans' reactions to the PS5 console have been quite mixed, and I'm going to have to say there have been some funny memes that have come out of it. There's been stuff around the internet such as the PS5 looking more close to like a duck bill. you got the PS5 looking closely like the Pokemon Shelter. There have been multiple memes online of the PS5 looking like the Eye of Sauron from Lord of the Rings. you got the PS5 looking like Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. you got many of them out there comparing uh, the PS5 to if you crossed a Wii and a cable modem. Oh yes, and you can't forget about Pope Francis the PS5. I love that people are, you know, really... <laughs> going at it. I don't know when the Xbox Series X came out, you know, everybody was calling it the fridge. So this is just the PS5's hazing ritual, I would say, but these are just a handful that I found online. If you have something you found on your own, tweet them at me, or by all means, blink them down in the comments below. I'd love to see them. And that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell, and I'll see you guys next time on the mashup.